Hello and welcome to this Tuesday evening stream where we're going to be taking a first look at the Five Circle which goes all the way from Edinburgh to Mark Inch via Dunfermline and Kirkcaldy. So we'll be getting a uh, take a closer look at the Class 170 which is obviously new to Trainton World and um, yeah I think this is going to be an interesting one. It's nice to see so many of you already in the chat. So UK train videos, welcome in. Train boy, Kenny, Connor, uh, Ron, howdy to you too. Uh, if I was sat here last week, you know, doing the uh, the Goblin line, I would have said, I'm very much looking forward to Five Circle. But then sadly, um, yeah, that, that preview stream happened and uh, it kind of put a whole kind of dampener on things and it just didn't wasn't the greatest of preview streams I'll be honest so um, yeah if I was sat here today not streaming for you guys I don't know if I would have bought it on day one I would have waited to see what fixes come uh, are coming along and when they eventually do come along so um, I'll be honest just be try to be as honest as I can with my views and uh, also you know point out the good the bad and probably the ugly as well but uh, it should be good so, without further ado, let's look at the timetable uh, and the scenarios. So, it comes with five scenarios, uh, varying degree in lengths, all the way up to nearly two hours, which is pretty uh, pretty impressive. Um, I do know uh, the, the one scenario here, I think um, you stop at sort of certain points to allow passengers to take uh, pictures, but uh, whatever you're taking pictures are, mon monuments and stuff like that, one of them isn't there, so that's not a great start. <laughs> And then we move on to the uh, the timetable. I think this is probably what caused uh, a lot of controversy. Obviously, we get the 170, which is great. Comes along with 97 services, um, which isn't a huge amount given that so many of them are empty coach or empty coach stock runs, um, and that they uh, there's about 80, I think, in, in total. Um, so the route does feel fairly quiet in places and we also do get the 385 uh, that layers in from Edinburgh to Glasgow um, so that's pretty nice to see and uh, we will see that Edinburgh is feeling busier but still not quite perfect so uh, yeah let's without further ado let's jump into the 170 see what it's like we're going to do first of all a run uh, I did pick one I'm now going to find it uh, it's no, it wasn't that one. I will find it. There we go. So it'll be a Dundee commuter service from Markinch all the way to Edinburgh Waverley. It's at 8 o'clock. We'll lock in the weather so that, um, uh, yeah, we don't uh, get any fog or anything to cloud our run. Uh, so should be good. Let's, uh, let's get this thing loaded. Uh, train boy, how do I do my starting soon intros? Uh, so that app that's actually made using um, a program that uh, I make videos with, and then it just gets replayed on a loop. So program called DaVinci Resolve. Uh, right here we go. Uh, we're Welcome starting off to the in Scott Trail service to Edinburgh Waverley. I'll let the announcement play. Kurt Cody, Kinghorn. Burnt Island. Brickheaving. North Queens Ferry. Dalmeny. Edinburgh Gateway. Haymarket. Edinburgh Waverley. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. The announcement's are cool. I'll give you that. It's nice to see. So this is Mark Inch. Got a collectible there as ever. It's not looking too bad at the moment. Okay. Not too horrendous. What have we got here? Any queries? Okay, nice. Uh, Kenny, yeah, I will do. I keep meaning to uh, to do it. Um, because a lot of the um, kind of pictures from uh, Train Symbol 4 are a lot nicer than the <laughs> old ones, given that we've got photo mode now. Uh, train Boy, the announcements are a bit delayed. They certainly are. We'll, we'll hear that when we get going. 
So of course we've got the 170. Little toot the horn there. We're about 30 seconds out from departure. We've got we've got people on board. It's nice, nice, nice. People fancy this end coach. Got some weird passenger behaviour going on here. Yeah, there is a nice bit of bugged uh, passenger behaviour that starts to lock those doors. Afraid you're getting locked in. There you go, we've got the guards buzzer. Quite quiet, but uh, that's okay. Oh, no, there we go. And away we go for Cook Holding next, 6.3 miles. Uh, Kenny, delayed announcements are better than none. I will give you that. The uh, the sounds in the uh, 170 are quiet, prototypically anyway, so you're not going to get a huge amount of engine sound, but... Start on the outside, you can certainly hear them. So I think there's been a, a lot made about the scenery, about it, some of it not looking too good. So I will, I will look look out, but I won't, uh, yeah, go too far. Given that I wouldn't typically look for lots of things uh, when I'm reviewing a re or looking at it for the first time. If there's things that stand out, then of course, yeah, I will show them. So we can get up to 80. Let's say the headlights do look a little bit dim. You can hardly see them. The model itself of the 170 looks very nice. We'll take the horn there. The horn sounds good. Um, okay, not looking too bad so far. Line side scenery looks okay. I believe the ballast colour is not quite the right colour. I believe it should be a bit more reddish, but okay. Uh, Nathan, oh, Class 387 Productions, welcome in. Kenny, um, DTG routes have bad scenery if you look hard enough. Yeah, absolutely agreed. Which is why I'm not trying to look too hard unless there's things that obviously stand out. Um, Nathan, uh, welcome in by the way. I uh, don't know if it's just you. Route's a bit laggy around the Fourth Bridge and Edinburgh City Centre. Okay, I will see if... Oh, we're slightly speeding here. I will check that out to see if I get any lag as well. Uh, Midas, welcome in. Uh, it's you, RMS. Oh, okay, you changed your YouTube name. Very nice. Uh, Nathan, this is a service from Mark Inch to uh, Waverley, but really it originates from uh, Dundee. I guess some of the scenery looks a little bit flat in the distance. I'll give them that. Uh, that field looks, these fields look pretty bare. But line side, you can't really notice it too much. If you're in the cab. We've got a few little lag lags here and there, but nothing too bad at the moment. Definitely is lagging. Well, 
I'm not sure if you can see that stutter on stream. That looks a bit strange. That rock, rock formation. So we're coming into Kirkcaldy with two, well, two and a half miles. Still plenty of time. I think we're almost going to be a little bit early. Oh. Helps if I put safety systems on. Uh, you store a stutter. Yeah. It's uh, certain places, especially when I jump out and move around, it does stutter. Which is uh, quite surprising, actually. Here we've got to get down to 65 in a second. Got bushes coming over onto the line side. Yeah, I can see what people say. It does feel a little bit unfinished in some places. Uh, Charlie, welcome in. Uh, you're getting this for your birthday. It's the five circle. Uh, if the five circle will still be around in May, it should be. Uh, Andrew, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, train boy realised the speed limit is 65 for the class 170 and uh, 80 for the HSTs. Yeah, you'll see that sometimes there's a double, double speed limit board. But I think these are set up to run at the HST speed. We'll have a look. Let's get on the brake. We're only 0.8 of a mile out now from... Uh, from Kurt Cody. Uh, Charlie doesn't normally lag uh, like this, so... It... Uh, Okay, is the announcement. Another we'll one seventy. Arrive at Kirkcody. Kirkcody. Don't it does forget to take, take your belongings with you before you leave the train. It does take a little while for that uh, announcement to sound after the bing bong. Slightly over our stopping point, but it's, it's all good. This is a safety announcement. It is not permitted to cycle, skateboard, or rollerblade within the station. I like the station announcements. They're good. They're nice. Let's have a look around uh, Cook Quality. Bit of a waiting room up here by the looks of it. Or oh, no, underpass. Interesting. Let's like get out, please. Thank you. Ticket machine. Some nice, nice artwork. Those uh, rear lights are a bit dim. Seven minutes till the departure. Both. Uh, I think we're just yeah a couple of minutes now. Um, Andrew, both cross country and Anelini, uh, El Nini are stop here. There you go. Yeah, look, you can certainly see they're long enough platforms to take uh, an eight hundred and some voyages. That's for sure. Yep, we've got four or five car stops, six car. Right, we've got about a minute before we can be departing. Got some of the scenery a bit further out from the station. We've got a car park over here. Feels quite busy. 
I mean, okay, got some random containers. Nice little touch with the ramps. Another ramp there. Please remain behind the yellow light. Right, we can be shutting our doors, getting ready to depart. Our next stop will be Kinghorn. And we've got a few more stops after that, that's for sure. Wait for the uh, guard signal. There we go, release the brake. Uh, Andrew, what daily Aberdeen to Penzance service? Oh, wow, yeah. That's really doing the... Uh, from the... Um, quite quite far north to quite far south as well. It's so silly seeing an 801 in this route. Uh, shouldn't they have been 803s and 800s? Um... I'm guessing some 801s could go as far as uh, Edinburgh, but anything further north would have to be an 800, that's for sure. Because obviously this uh, section is diesel powered and the 801 is predominantly electric with just a kind of backup diesel engine. So Kinghorn next. Uh, Nathan, you're still at Waverley, departing the 1854 to Glen Ross. Nice. We will do the other side of the circle uh, after this. So we'll do a Glen Ross sur uh, service. Give you a view of the map. So see, we started up here. Oh, where is it? There's Mark Inch. Uh, there it is, there's Mark Inch, and now we're heading down the east side of the five circle and we'll do the west side uh, afterwards. We've also got, interestingly, uh, a section that goes on, I think as far as uh, Linlithgow, so yeah, you can go do a service from um, Edinburgh all the way to Linlithgow. But also, another kind of interesting tidbit is that um, actually uh, the whole kind of track is laid for um, the Edinburgh to Glasgow route. So if you stay on uh, an Edinburgh to Glasgow service, you will end up in a Queen Street, albeit no, no scenery or anything there. Uh, Charlie, maybe they redo an 801 um, into a Lumino or a GWR without actual logos. Yeah, possibly. Uh, train FC, welcome in. Uh, have you passed Burnt Island? No, we've not yet. We've got Kinghorn and then Burnt Island. We're heading south to uh, Edinburgh. We need to be down, slowing quite a bit here. We're by the coast now. We get back to the. Uh, We'll soon arrive at Kinghorn. There we go. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Uh, it's Burnt Island, not Burnt Island. Yeah, there you go. Burnt Island is uh, coming up after Kinghorn. Shade of Passengers, we can certainly do that. Class 387 Productions. Certainly isn't burnt piss land, uh, Charlie. There we go, let's just bring it to a stop. Uh, train FC, uh, you can't really play uh, the map because it keeps bugging out at Edinburgh, but the rest of the time it's fine. How annoying. Uh, Nathan, for some reason, the AI arrives into the station at full power. That is bizarre. Here we go, here's some of the passengers. 
doesn't, interestingly, it doesn't look like any of them are rocking headphones like they normally do. We've got the suitcases. Yeah, no headphones. We've got plenty of them coming this way. Uh, going up through, that's, yeah, really good. No wonder they're bugging out there. They're <laughs> not actually going up the path. Shut those doors. Uh, class 387, you want Southwest Railway, and I saw some on the track there as well. <laughs> and away we go. Uh, train FC, you think you've already found a glitch on it when it was at station at Glen Rose uh, line. Some of the passengers started walking across the track. Yep. Uh, I've just had similar there. Uh, as 170 next to you arrived on full power. How odd. Uh, the 801s leave at about one mile an hour. <laughs> That's odd. Uh, Nathan, you're doing a uh, shift on five circle, going up to Glen Rose, then return then to Mark Inch and back. That sounds like a, a lot of fun. We're 30 through this tunnel. Get it down. There we go. Oh, they definitely haven't mastered the uh, tunnel entrances uh, with the lighting. It was the same on Edinburgh to Glasgow. It always had that real bright flash of uh, white light. I think they need to get that sorted. <laughs> I uh, haven't played London Computer in a while. Uh, no, I can't say I have, actually. Um, it's been a little while. Yeah, a definitely upgrade-worthy. Uh, Train FC, I think the problem with the game is that you're on the old gen, so you're going to have to upgrade. Uh, could I save all my account stuff uh, with all my games when I upgrade? I don't know. about. I don't know about saves, but certainly all your uh, DLC, your add-ons would move across. But I'm not sure about your save games. Let's come back off power, pretty much up to. Uh, 65 now. Uh, train boy, you had a passenger walking across the track at Gosbloke. Yeah, sadly, it seems to be a bit of a uh, a bit of a bug with um, kind of passenger behaviour in general. To be fair, this scenery looks all right. I've got no issue with this scenery. We'll start slowing because we're coming into Burnt Island. Got a bit of beach scenery coming on here. Passenger, uh, people walking along the promenade. That's quite nice. I mean, those textures look quite flat, but fine. Random logs, which look a bit weird, but. Yeah, it could do with a bit of polishing in places. Uh, Rico, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, train boy, it's a good route for 2499. Agreed. Gos uh, the Goblin Line is very, very nice. Uh, Clash of Clans, can you open the doors using the guard panel? Yeah, why not? We're about 40 seconds early at the moment, so why not? Burnt Island looks great. Yeah, it sure does. I mean, I shouldn't be doing that. Let's put it into neutral. All right, there we go. We won't get PSD. Uh, where's the panel? Where's the panel? Where's the panel? Uh, Oh, there we go, there's a panel. 
Oh, out of the way. Nope, that's not a panel. That's the panel. Key in. Uh, right, I want door release. Oh, sure, sure. Okay, that's clearly... Have I... There goes my local door. Right. Always be closing. There goes the doors. Right. Let's get back in the cab. And then we can be off. There you go. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Thank you. Got the hang of it in the end. There we go, off we go. Abador next. Uh, Clash of Clans, Burnt Island's your favourite station. Let's give it, make sure we give it a good turn. Uh, it does look very nice actually. Especially as you come in got the uh, the port here which looks very cool uh, transport legend welcome in how you doing uh, Nathan this is Haymarket next stop is Guile uh, transport legend what have you missed uh, this is first uh, this is first run we've started off in Mark Inch and we're heading all the way to Edinburgh Waverley uh, what Train FC, what do you think so far? Fife Circle or Goblin Line? Goblin Line, hands down, I think. This route does feel very quiet in terms of the timetable. And there's bits of scenery that's not the best, I think it's fair to say. Um, Rico, is this the only train you get with the, the route? That's correct, yep. Uh, Goblin Line is a better route, agreed, Train Boy. Uh, favourite oh, on Fife It's your favourite on Fife Circle. I've seen it in real life, it's so picturesque. What, how do you think it's uh, modelled um, in game uh, train FC? Do you think it's a uh, good uh, good representation of it? Uh, Charlie, do a realistic departure. I'll do my best. Uh, when's the one five eight coming out? Um, I believe it is. Uh, it's going to be around. I think. Summertime, I think on the road, the last roadmap it was about four to six months away, so I think we can expect it sort of summertime. Uh, Transport Legend, no worries. Get a view, I'm trying to see the scene there, but not doing too well. <laughs> I have actually tried this in Formation Designer, and it, fair to say, uh, the 170 basically can't be used in uh, Formation Designer. Uh, all you get is uh, a three-car unit, uh, and you can't couple any other three-car units to it. Down, yeah, we should be down to the 55 here. We'll soon arrive at Aberdour. There we go. It was let the announcement Don't go. Don't forget to take your belongings. Uh, transport. Ah, oh, Rico. Uh, what's my real name? Ah, uh, not one I'm going to share right now. Uh, transport legend. I think you should do a Friday night long stream of only operating the fun around the first scenario uh, for like an hour and fifty. It lasts. Uh, yeah, we could do it in a future stream. I think. Um, that could be a good one to do. Uh, Train of Sea, it's very good. I think the summer, in the summer they should add 
this. Oh, hang on a second. I'm trying to read and trying to stop. <laughs> it's very difficult. Let's bring it to a stop. So, you're trying to see, uh, it's very good. I think in the summer they should add this fair because it normally turns up and it's amazing with Royal Cases bomb cars. That sounds, uh, sounds really interesting. Uh, Transport Legend Fun around the Firth is the way is way too boring for you to do your run on your own. Fair enough. Train boy, really looking forward to formation design of the Bunsen. Yeah, it, as long as it's actually implemented correctly, because you can't even couple um, lots of 170s together at the moment in formation design, which is a bit of, a bit disappointing. Uh, the clouds are very great; they certainly are. I think in, when, in, when it's cloudy you get the uh, train symbol looks its best, I have to say. If it's too uh, too bright, it just looks... Uh, if it's like pure sun, it just looks washed out. Uh, that locomotion guy, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, Charlie, hope some of they don't do TSW5. Completely agree with you on that. Um, trying to see oh, one slight disappointing thing is the no double header one seventies. Yeah, agreed. I'm hoping that the one five eights and one seventies will couple together. Uh, the train hunter, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, just talk about the one seventy one five eight. I did try to get the two to couple before this stream, um, and uh, it didn't want to move. So. Um, clearly something's not quite set up for that yet. Uh, Transport Legends, you would probably not buy TSW5, waste some money. Uh, he said he wasn't going to get uh, TSW4 a few days later. <laughs> uh, and you did a few days after the initial public release, only time and stuff. Yeah, I mean TSW5 isn't needed, I don't think, personally. It's no, unless there's some big feature, kind of upgrade or update. I don't think it needs it. Uh, Clash of Clans, can you make two four car formations? No, unfortunately not. Um, the only options available in Formation Designer is a three car unit and you can't even couple multiple three car units together. Uh, Train of C, you're excited for Friday. Uh, 67 is passing uh, passing you for the first time. I'm pretty sure it's the Belmont Pullman. Oh wow, that sounds interesting. So, Dalgetty Bay next. Uh, Nathan, you're loving this route? Oh, glad to hear it. I don't think this looks uh, too bad. Uh, train boy, you made a 48 car class 710 in the training centre and actually moved yet. Yeah, uh, I got it up to uh, 100 cars and it moved, I had it on the East Coast Main Line, topped out at I think it was around 79 miles an hour. Uh, Transport Legend, releasing a new game every year. It's not a healthy movement, no, absolutely not. Uh, locomotive guy doing well. Glad you're well. Uh, I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for asking. We'll soon arrive at Dargetty Bay. We need to get the uh, the brakes Don't on it. To take your belongings with you before you leave the train. I do like the announcements, just if there wasn't such a long delay between the bing bong and the, her actually starting to talk, it would be better, but big fan. There we go, bring this into Delgetti Bay. There's the three car stop mark. Not bad. Stop. There we go. Love how quiet the cab is. Yeah, it is ridiculously quiet actually. 
Uh, Transport Legend releasing the 158 a few months after Five Circles, kind of pathetic. People want it now. Uh, would have the hype would have died down. Uh, agreed. I think if the 158 had released alongside this, um, I think it wouldn't feel so dead. I'm also really disappointed there is no freight currently hit in there. Um, that is a real disappointment for me, especially as the engineering pack that they made for um, Edinburgh to Glasgow is made by themselves, so surely that was an obvious one to include in here. Uh, but yeah, hopefully when the 158 comes it will certainly build out the timetable a lot more. Uh, ZGov, welcome in. How you doing? Transport Legend would be still called cool, a more variety. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Train FC, you found a solution to the Edinburgh crash in, which is to keep pausing and saving, but before you discovered that the game crashed, meaning uh, you joined back in, uh, it saved, but then glitched. Ah, it's annoying that you experienced in those glitches. I mean, yes. All right. This is a prime example, I guess, of the scenery feeling a little bit unfinished here. Look at that. Surely that... No, that can't be legit. Look at it. <laughs> it's just bland. There's nothing there. In the key thing next. Uh, Kenny also it wouldn't be bad if they delayed 5 Circle for the 158 because we had a Goblin last week. Yeah, I think... Given how good Goblin was then to um, have this release shortly after it meant that I think people had a, a lot higher uh, expectation, rightly so. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Uh, the action points uh, only added to your profile, not the train or route. Oh, how odd. Uh, will the 158 be free for players? Unfortunately not, it's going to be a separate paid add-on. Uh, Transport as you feel for Rivet, uh, as if Rivet games are great at making train stations but not scenery sadly. They don't always make the best great decisions with including excluding things unfortunately yet. Yeah, I'd agree with you on that. Uh, Alfie, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, Kenny, scenery looks like sort of stuff you see when you glitch out. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's a good way to describe it, Kenny. Uh, locomotion guy, do 159s run on a five circle? I don't believe so. Uh, the 158 that will be coming will just be, uh, obviously, we live read for Scott Rail, uh, but that obviously also um, means all the interior needs to be. Uh, Relivered as well, or like reupholstered, should I say? Um, train boy, can we see a full tone departure? I'll give it a go. Uh, Z Govern livery designer to hide the unit number on the 170. You have to cover it up with the black and uh, cover it up with black and use custom text to make a different number. Yeah, I guess if you're making that 171. Driving on this route earlier. Saw a parking lot on grass, people working, walking on copper slabs with flat house scenery. Yeah, you should have seen just that as we were departing from where was it? Uh, Dalgetty. There was uh, quite a bit of uh, flat texture there. There you go, gotta give you five tones. <laughs> Freight train wise, they should add the Collis Rail 70, Scottish routes, and things like 90s. They need to make the West Coast Main Line next, somewhere like Euston. Definitely needs more freight, given there's nothing. The um, Railhead Treatment Train is an obvious one to include as well. Uh, Alfie, you got the Goblin Line. Very nice. How are you finding it? 
Uh, train boy love the horn. It is. Actually, I will give him that. It's a nice sounding horn. Uh, Zegov, did you know Southern had the Scott Rail 170s for a bit? Ah, oh, there you go. It's interesting. Six tones. I think I missed. Yeah, it must have been six. Uh, train FC, really like the horn on the 170. Yeah, it's nice. It does sound very nice. So, North Queen's Ferry next, which means we're getting closer to the fourth bridge. Uh, Nathan, you're at Dalmeny, about to cross the fourth bridge. I'll be soon at North Queen's Ferry to, uh, to cross it the other way. Alfie, the adventure looks really nice. Yeah, I have to agree. It's a very nice, uh, very nicely modelled. Clash of Clans, 170 is your favourite train. Train FC, you should add the Pullman train. Yeah, Pullman would be cool. Uh, Scotsman, but something like Bellman, Pullman, Northern Bell, Royal Scotsman would be nice. Uh, train Boy, 170 is your favourite DMU. Of course, Turbo Stars, amazing. There we go, announcement again. We'll soon arrive at North Queen's Ferry. North Queen's Ferry. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Uh, Transport Legend, you think uh, London, Euston, Birmingham, New Street with the 350s, uh, the Pendolinos and the 710. Uh, add some overground services, probably never happen. That does sound like a great suggestion, though. Uh, Zegov, the unit number can't be changed on the 170. Ah, that's frustrating. Uh, train C, have you seen a fourth bridge yet? Is it the best detail in any route? Uh, it does look very nice, I've seen it, yeah. Uh, uh, Kenny feels like they've sacrificed good scenery for making the auto announcer. Yeah, possibly. There you go, you can start to make out the fourth bridge. Let's see how uh, the performance is around here, if we get any stuttering. Well, that is loading up. There we go, there is... How far? I can't... Oh, I can go quite far, actually. There we go, there's the famous fourth bridge. We've got the uh, road bridge over there as well. One in the distance. Uh, Alfie, does the announcement say the next station is? It certainly does. Transport Legend, uh, the name Bletchley sounds so weird. Uh, oh, I've opened the wrong doors there. That's how not to do it. Right, across the uh, fourth bridge we go. Oh, we did a little... We should have used hill start there. <laughs> Scotland forever. Yeah, absolutely. Sadly, no, this is station... Ah, mm, uh, yeah, that's true. More realistic. Uh, trying to see, guessing this is your first route on it. It certainly is. Uh, they've added deep to sea world. If you look down past the bridge on your left, there's a 170. Uh, Alfie, you're getting this route on Thursday. The rollback is so annoying. You can't. I should have used the uh, hill start, which I think is the little button. I don't know what shortcut is though. Um, Doesn't seem too laggy. No, it seems to be okay. Let's just. I'm locked at a solid 60 frames a second. It's pretty nice.
so what my th uh, first honest thoughts uh, timetable's too quiet it's missing a lot of the additional services that you'd expect like freight and diesel and steam rail tours um, which is a bit of a disappointment um, the scenery is not great in some places and uh, the 170 is really nice and the fourth bridge is amazing um, so I guess it's, it truly is the good, bad and the ugly <laughs> doesn't seem too laggy, no um, speed up now Uh, use the, the hill start button. Yeah, I just need to work out what the sh uh, sh shortcut is on the keyboard. Uh, trying to see <laughs> three tones, you all of the tones, nice. Uh, Alfie, uh, they're going to do the Scott Rail 158, that's going to be on five circles, certainly is. Uh, ice cream, uh, what's the PC config? Uh, so I'm running a um, RTX 3070 and also. Uh, 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 AMD 5800 CPU, so it's not bad, but it's certainly not high end. Uh, and this is running in 1440p. Uh, trying to see his sudden brother breaks a game. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Uh, transport legible, you have to do a face reveal name. Uh, if probably. I probably would never, though. Maybe at 2k subs, 5k, 10k. Yeah, maybe one day. It's not a no, that's for sure. Uh, crazy, welcome in. How you doing? go to Edinburgh Gateway. <laughs> Fair enough, uh, Transport Legend, crazy. Uh, glad you're doing well. You're currently on the City Bus Manager. Very nice. See so what I've been. Um, I've been playing uh, City Bus Manager actually quite a lot recently. I've got back into it. Thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, Transport Legend and Scream here. <laughs> well, thank you for loving my content. It's appreciated. So Edinburgh Gateway and next after that we've got Haymarket and then Edinburgh Waverley itself. Uh, crazy, you're doing a London save in expert mode. Do you what? I start. That's exactly where I'm doing it at the moment, actually. Uh, Kenny, no worries. Thanks for dropping into the stream. Have a good rest of your evening. Um, yeah, London in. It's because you don't get too. Well, I'm not doing it. Certainly not doing it in expert mode. <laughs> and I'm also trying to use all uh, uh, green buses, so e-buses as well which is making it a lot lots more uh, a lot more difficult yeah I had to take several loans too crazy <laughs> uh, transport doesn't just such great mass uh, uh, just such great atmosphere in the streams chill yeah absolutely we don't want any stress here Let's have a look at the uh, tram depot as well when we get close to uh, Edinburgh Gateway. Uh, you're using uh, standard UK bus mo uh, mod buses, fair enough. Uh, Start in central London, I certainly did. But you just got to. Uh, Try and get as many uh, sort of as many bigger buses as possible to move move the sheer number of people. 
Yeah, that's supposed to be the airport, isn't it? Wow. That's, um... Not great. That doesn't give me airport vibes. It just gives me a, hot, a bit of a hole by the looks of it and some buildings and some solar panels. Interesting. Uh, transportation until you perform a classic station over on Red Signal. Yep, don't count that out uh, tonight. Uh, are you playing on the new better version? I am. I only started it the other day, so I believe I am. Uh, Zegger, uh, will you run a 171 on East Coastway? Uh, making a livery if you need one. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. Why not? Uh, Rico, uh, playing City Bus Manager uh, in London. The runway looks very unlandable. I do, I'd agree on that. Uh, train C, got to go in a minute, no worries. We're going to definitely overrun here at this rate. Um, let's see a plane land on that strip of grass. Yeah, it's not uh, not the, the best. Uh, crazy, you're in a bit of pain right now, though. Increased passenger volumes. Ooh, yeah, that can uh, cause a lot of pain. Uh, Trying to see, it looks like they've pulled all their effort into design and fourth bridge. Yeah, it certainly does feel like that. That airport is pretty bad. I have to agree. I have to say. Uh, Rico, you thought that? Ah, yeah, yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> right, we're by the trams. So, where are they? Where are oh, they over here? There you go. There's the uh, tram depot. Oh, got a little ding there. I wonder if you can somehow spawn. Oh, there we go. You've got one coming in. That's oh, very fast. All right, off we go. Uh, crazy, you're also doing a second save in Warsaw. Very nice. I uh, trying to see you're doing some Forza Horizon with a mate. Uh, we're picking the best car each and then turn it into a sports car. Ah, oh, sounds cool, train I see. Uh, Zed Guff, we need to rush our series out again. Yeah, I wouldn't be against something like that. Uh, what do I think about London? I like London, just in small doses. <laughs> uh, crazy, wonder if you can spawn a real train on there. I, Yeah, I'd love to give that a go. Uh, trying to see, uh, you'll hand it to them. The tram depot and trams are incredible. Yeah, again, they focus a lot of effort on that tram depot and none on the uh, the airport. Uh, so, Gov, you've released your livery 171 livery. Is that on um, Creators Club? Trying to see, you've done a 2009 Mini, which doesn't turn. Ah, that's a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of an issue. Uh, train boy, I don't live in London. But uh, I don't mind going every now and again. One seventy in the station here. What station is this? Oh, South Car. Oh, okay, fair. Let's be fly through. Zegov. Okay, I'll check, check that out afterwards. Uh, Zegov. Uh, train boy, I'm in the west of England. So here we are coming to merge up with the line that goes to Glasgow. So we might see some 385s now. Which would be 
cool to see. I like the... Uh, I like the graffiti. Yeah, uh, train of C you find it strange 170 acceleration is so slow, but uh, has such overpowered brakes. Yeah, it certainly is slow uh, getting up to its top speed. It's rated for, I think it's 100, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's taking an age to get up to that speed. Or anywhere close to 90 at this rate. In a second we'll need to be slowing for that 50 so it will come off power I think. Get a brake on. Probably a bit more brake at this rate. Uh, Rico, do they still say Wessex? No. <laughs> uh, so can we check out 171? Probably not in this stream. Uh, we're just going to fo focus on 5 circle uh, this evening. Haymarket Depot should be busy. It irritates me. That that could feel so busy and would be amazing. Uh, then you have to slow down again, which isn't difficult. No, it certainly isn't slow uh, slowing down with the uh, the 170. It does have really powerful brakes. There we go. There's a 385. That's pretty neat. I like that. And then our 170. Yeah, I like that. See, that's what it should feel like. Nice and busy. We got... Uh, no, we're not going to run in uh, with a 385. That's a shame. That would have been cool to do a bit of parallel running. Where's our stop sign? Oh, there it is. Uh, Rico, do go transport in the west? No, generally not. I don't tend to uh, train, transport, if I'm honest. Uh, train C, it pains you that you focus more on busy Eastfield Depot in Glasgow. Yeah, that's, that's such, a, such a good shout, actually. Eastfield Depot was really busy, busy yet Haymarket is absolutely dead. Uh, crazy you don't like transporting that much? No, I think I'm I'm the same as you. Right, we are almost about to head into Edinburgh Waverley. And then we're going to do a, another service where we'll head up to Glenroth. Or Glenroth, should I say. go. And off we go to Waverley. Interesting. Look at the difference in the ballast colour. <laughs> just massively different. Oh, we're speeding here a bit, let's just slow us down. Uh, Rico, have I been outside the UK before on holiday? Yeah, sure have.
let's uh, slow this down for the upcoming 20. So double yellow there. Literally, we won't hit any adverse signals because <laughs> this reach. Oh, I don't want to wait. I'll do that. Right, let's uh, head towards uh, Edinburgh. There we go. So we've got our 385 in here at the moment. Another 170. Do we have any... As... I think I can get down there, can't I? Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's no Azumas in at the moment. That's... Disappointing. Have we got any on the map? Nope. That's really disappointing. Just have uh, train FC, but sadly there isn't doesn't seem to be one in at the moment, which is really disappointing. Going into platform number eighteen here, I think it was. So when we do uh, the next run, we'll start off at Edinburgh, uh, and we'll have a look to see if we can see the Azuma. There we go, unlock those doors. Uh, Trinity FC, uh, you had a point where there was two, one, uh, where it just went very slowly. Don't know why it didn't go to speed limit, but very slowly, that's odd. Uh, Nathan, you're at Queen's Margaret, or Queen Margaret. Uh, Trinity FC, gotta go. No worries, have a good rest of your evening. There we go, that should bring that run nicely to an end. We've still not got one here, that's a shame. We'll find it in the next run. Let's lock those doors and that should uh, finish this run. And now we'll do the next service. Which, oh god, look at all that speed in. <laughs> still platinum, I'll take that. Right, let's return to the timetable. And we're going to do this side, uh, this time, the west side of uh, Five Circle. Uh, Omar, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, right, let's find the service that we're going to run. Do it in foggy, like clouds. A bit earlier. No, Edinburgh, we'll leave that one. We'll do. Uh, Omar, what's my thoughts on this route? London Overground route beats this one. In terms of realism and quality, this route is a good choice, but lacking so many factors. I couldn't agree with you more. Um, especially timetable, no Welcome freight, no rail tours. Office with Thornton. Calling at Haymarket, South Gale. Uh, the scenery is quite bad in some 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 bits of it. The fourth bridge is nice. Um, yeah. Uh, New Texas Railroad, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? It's nice. Oh, let's go and see if we've got uh, an Azuma in this time. In oh. There we go. We have an Azuma coming in very slowly with no driver. I mean, that's realistic, isn't it? <laughs> what is up with this? The Azumas have no drivers. It's, you know, it's automatic train operation. We've got passengers, which is a bonus, I guess, but I don't need a driver. 
The only thing you like about this route is the 170. Yeah, <laughs> not far wrong. This, yeah, yeah, just come on. That's ridiculous. Oh, I can't even get to the other end to see if it's the drivers at the other end. ATO tested on LNR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we're back in our cab. Train Boy Classic LNR City is. So we've got Haymarket, South Gow, Edinburgh Gateway, Adelmeny, North Queens Ferry, Inverkeithing, Recythe, uh, Dunfermline, Dunfermline Queen Margaret, Cairnbeath, uh, Loch Gelly, uh, Cardenden, and then Glenroth. Right, let's shut our doors. And you know, with their sketchy driving skills. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly impressive. I'll give them that. There we go. And away we go for Haymarket. I mean, that's probably true, <laughs> Train Boy ran out of drivers, taking driverless uh, futuristic uh, travel to a whole new level. <laughs> yeah, certainly our transport legend. tell you what we'll do afterwards is we'll do a 385 service actually because I think we can go as far as uh, Linlithgow you can see we've got a really quite a large portion of Edinburgh to Glasgow uh, included including this uh, little link here which is interesting because I mean I guess it's been included for a reason but it's not obvious as to why they would include so much perhaps is that for some services with the 158 in the future maybe I don't know here comes the announcement We'll soon arrive at Haymarket. Haymarket is transport Don't legend. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Uh, the 170 is mid with driving, accelerates way too fast, brakes way too slowly. I think it's the other way around. The brakes are pretty good actually on this. Uh, that's one good thing about this route. A few branches, yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, they've uh, promised to look at bringing the Levin branch uh, that's opening in the uh, in the summer uh, to this route, so that would be pretty cool. This route again has so much potential. I think there was obviously a lot of hype around uh, its release, and people had high expectations because it was it was fantastic in. Uh, Train sim, uh, train simulator classic. Uh, train boy, I think they. Oh, let's just bring us a stop. Uh, train boy, uh, I think they need to update the announcement. So after, yeah, agreed. It's too, it takes too long to uh, to announce whatever it's going to be. Crazy, you're saying 93.8% chance they won't make it for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I struggle to believe um, Rivet, sadly. Uh, Transport Geek. Parent, hey son, what are you driving? Five circle line on TSW4, parent, where are you driving to and from? 385 Edinburgh to Linlithgow, parent, you're a <laughs> Yeah. 
I think the whole rev preview stream was completely botched and then given such the kind of backlash from the community there should have been another stream showcasing it its proper build and the fixes that they obviously implemented over the weekend Uh, New York, Texas Railroad, the scenery north of Edinburgh Gateway is really bland. Yeah, absolutely. When you get to the uh, the airport, that's horrendous. I'll show you. It's it's awful. <laughs> you got to remember. I guess the pretty much all of the kind of bit up to Edinburgh Gateway probably has been would have been modelled for Edinburgh to Glasgow. So the bits they've actually added for Five Circle <laughs> are the not so great bits. <laughs> So like all of this section has come from Edinburgh to Glasgow. Uh, crazy, a great, there's a city festival and seasonal flu event it seems like, oh, yeah, you're going to get, uh, you get quite a lot of people phoning in sick. So you won't, yeah, that's not great timing. Right, we've got 30 seconds before we can be departing. There goes that other 170 towards Waverley. No one's called in sick yet. It will happen crazy. <laughs> it always does. And at the worst time. Do the best teams. We'll give it a go. We're just a part in. That should be uh, loaded up. Let's start to pull away. Let's just give it. There you go, there's some good tunes. Uh, why can't you just have uh, your bus company be run like in the USA when they have to come and even see? Yeah. Uh, Transport Legend, you were driving this route earlier this morning. You could say generally liking it, relaxing. The scenery's not the greatest, but when is the scenery good? Uh, nice, a real train horn tone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, team biscuits. Why have I got team biscuits? Uh, crazy 30 service employees and still all seats taken in 25 minutes wait time. Jeez. You need to get that mobile app development. <laughs> Here's Haymarket Depot. If only they put some, even just some static stock in here would be fantastic just to make it feel alive. I'm not asking for too much. Just some like 170s, maybe some, we wouldn't have 385s here but Maybe some one five eights in the future. If you could afford the mobile app, ah, yeah. Transport Legend, you've got tin biscuits at your desk right now. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I could do with some tea and biscuits in real life. <laughs> it's because you need to be on. Well, we'll be coming up to a new month in. Yeah, we're not far away now, are we? So, start of April, we'll give away 10 more memberships. Team biscuits are the key to everything in life. Certainly are, yeah, that's for sure. Right, we're 75 around the curve here. Let's just off come off the power. Uh, will you still have your membership in April? I think it will run out. Uh, probably because I did it at the start of March didn't I so it'll probably run out at the start of April it's 
get a break in. We come to South Gyle. We'll soon arrive at South Gyle. Uh, pretty pleased to get a membership. Unfortunately, that's in the hands of YouTube. They do the random selection. Uh, crazy. Feel like in city bus expansion, it should be that there's less passengers during the flu event. Yeah, agreed. I did have a, I think, a pandemic scenario where they. The buses were only at half capacity, which was interesting actually. Try to, <laughs> have to run more buses then. Uh, no more tea and biscuits. Uh, well, you never know, um, Trey Boy. So after this we've got Edinburgh Gateway. Yeah, they certainly like standing close to the end. <laughs> Transport Legend. Only 368 people there. Oh, okay. There's not many passengers wanting to get on here. Like none. Don't fancy don't fancy my driving. We have got passengers on board. Uh, Nathan, you're at Cardenden. So, Edinburgh Gateway next. Uh, crazy, you had a lucky start on your safe there, rail replacement, and then made 110k for it. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a decent bit of, bit we'll of money there. arrive at Edinburgh Gateway. Don't forget uh, to take Ben, the, the thing that's putting you off the route is the timetable, no freight or rail talk. Yeah, absolutely agreed. I think Ben uh, means rail tours with like steam locos or with um, like heritage diesel locos or something like that. No rail tour timetable as there's a rail tour scenario. Yeah, but it should like a st there should be a steam steam rail tour at a minimum, surely. Rivet even created a steam rail tour pack for West Cornwall local. They should surely be using that. <laughs> uh, crazy you only needed two stops but it was for four, uh, four tube stations that needed replacement oh nice but you got yeah it's quite easy to get a bit of decent money then oh we're sailing past our stopping point but it's okay we'll head for the S here there we go there's Edinburgh Gateway let's uh I mean, where is... Okay, I guess that's trying to be like an airport car park, maybe? Just a little bit further on is the airport. We'll have a look at that properly in a minute. Uh, it lasted for over one day. Yeah, no wonder you got to move uh, quite a few passengers in. Uh, let's get going. Del many next. May I have your attention, please? Closed circuit television won't video monitoring you can use at this station for your personal safety.
transport legend, I'm not even going to attempt to uh, to read that out because I can only guess what you're talking about there. <laughs> Uh, train boy, the announcements that you heard are all uh, come with all the rates. There's no mods uh, running on this at the moment. some point there's like 20 broken buses yeah agreed especially when it's uh, like lights and wipers that need replacing uh, train boy uh, finding a route with an actual station announcement yeah absolutely uh, Inverkeefen is a beautiful uh, station well we'll get to look at that uh, New York Texas Railroad Yeah. Anyone fancy landing on this runway? I mean, that's yeah, that's interesting. Unfortunately, we're hitting the wall here, so we can't go any further. But that does not look like an international airport. <laughs> At the point. Uh, you should make your main depot a big service centre in Milan East. <laughs> no one's here. Yeah. Uh, what have we got here? Slow for 80. Well, we're not even doing 80, so we'll just come off power. So down many in a mile. Oh, we're not. Forgot to put the safety systems on. How dare I? Let's get slow in for down many. Uh, crazy, like you first ever said, you had to repair 10 buses during the day and 20 at night. Oh, wow. Had to reassign shifts and stuff. Yeah, it can be a nightmare. Here comes the announcement. We'll soon arrive at Dalmeny. Dalmeny it is. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Here we are coming into Dalmeny. By, uh, pretty much on time and then we get to go back across the fourth bridge uh, crazy do I make night routes? no but I should I think uh, that's why I'm kind of missing out a bit Uh, ben, if there's an update to the timetable to put rail, uh, freight and rail tour, um, yeah, they definitely should. Uh, nice if they put the Jubilee, the A3, Scots, or Scotsman 45, 52, 31. Yeah, definitely. That would be cool. Uh, train boy, you're really excited for this route when you heard about it, but until the preview stream, it completely changed. Yeah, I think that's the same for the same for everyone. Sadly, oh no, wrong button. There we 
we go. Uh, crazy, you make uh, it makes some because it allows for more buses, but buses per depot, not all parking spaces are occupied. Ah, that's a good chat. I didn't think of that. Revisiting some of your roller saves. There you go. Here we are, coming up to the fourth bridge. A bit of a slipway here. You can definitely see that there's some decent scenery around the bridge. But where did the rest of it go? Where did the rest of the scenery I <laughs> You can just go straight through. Uh, there you go guys, if you anyone wants to uh look what you know, there you go, there's the terrain. Okay, right. We'll stop doing that. Let's get back in our train. Uh, Nathan, uh, you're stuck on the train that's leaving uh, Thornton towards Smart Inch. <laughs> Thought uh, it was doing a shunt, but no, it continues on to Mark Inch. Oh, disaster! You have to get off at Mark Inch. Uh, crazy. So that's how the water is below the four bridge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, train boy, classic dovetail games. I think that's. I've never quite. I've never tried to go below water like that before, but um, yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen. We'll soon arrive at North Queen's Ferry. North Queen's Ferry. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Okay, see the f bridge in the kind of in the background now. Looked at one of your routes, has eight different timetables. Oh wow, <laughs> that's impressive. Uh, Nathan, you've got to wait 20 minutes at Thornton before uh, you can take the return train to Edinburgh. Uh, ben, uh, be nice if people who have GWR mid and main line uh, could just do a free paint job on the 43 Scott Rail and do some services with the 37. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, actually. I'd love to see the um, HST uh, come to uh, come to this route. That would look pretty cool. Waverley and Bro Waverley. Got any other services? Uh, crazy if you do make night ones in the future, recommend 30 minute headways. Okay. I guess it's definitely not the uh, demand at that time of night. Right, off we go to Inverkeith. Okay, Nathan, that makes sense. A little bit of break on. Again, down a 1.4% gradient.
They're crazy. Some of your routes are only uh, uh, only night routes and weekends. Oh wow. Oh, we need to be down at 40. <laughs> Speeding a little bit too much. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we jump up to 50 again. Classic. Uh, Nathan, you have 40 minutes before your train to Edinburgh arrives at uh, 20, uh, 8.20, but has to do the shunt. I'll take over when it arrives to do shunt. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, train boy, you're going to Watford Junction in summer for train spot. Very nice. I'm sure you'll have a great time. We'll soon arrive at Inverkeithing. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. We are coming into Inverkeithing. Uh, crazy, your first ever save uh, only has 55 bus routes, max is 250. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, ben, just things that help out this route make it the same level as uh, SHS. Uh, is that southeastern high speed? I'm guessing it's better and gets better timetable range of services. Yeah, definitely. The different service patterns do really make a big difference to the terms of the gameplay. I do like the variety. There we go. Let's open up the doors. No worries, Ben. Completely agree with you, though. This route could be better. Oh, stuck a bit here. That's no good. This is in the key thing. I like the fact they got ramps. Nice little touch there. Scythe next. Okay, we've got a feather illuminated indicating we're going off to the left to the west side of uh, Five Circle. Nathan, you see an 8 car 385 going in onto the East Coast Main Line. Oh, okay. Not seen that before. Train Boy, uh, how do you move that fast in free camera? Um, with the joys of a keyboard, if you hit the shift, uh, it allows you to. Um, oh, we need to get down to 30 here. Uh, it allows you to move around quickly. So I can either move normal speed like this or if I press shift down I can go very fast uh, Rico if you're into football Belgium are playing against England it's 1-1 yes I did know they were playing I don't tend to watch the friendlies if I'm honest uh, crazy you're doing a run on the 700 at uh, oh half past 12 at night today. Nice. Just had one passenger the entire run. Fair enough. Uh, train boy, because you really want to get good shots for your video, but sadly you're on PS5. I'm surprised there isn't uh, a way to uh, to move the camera quickly. Uh, Richie, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? 
Good morning. Is it really good? Uh, really good morning. <laughs> uh, is this that route that was meant to be really good, but the company that runs with Pivot messed it up? It sure is. It sure is. Um, it's okay. It's not as bad as I think. Um, perhaps the likes of the forum have made out, but it's not great. <laughs> uh, crazy, and then decided to turn off the train lights at High Am. It was at uh, it was a Dartford's Gillingham service. Yeah, I don't blame you turning off lights for you and got one passenger. Yesterday, you got kicked out of the 395, got glitched out of it. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> so here we are, coming into Rosyth. Heard the term uh, mediocre use for this. Yeah, you're, you're probably about right, Richie. It's it's definitely a lot of room for improvement, especially with the timetable. You're stuck on HS1. <laughs> yeah, if you get stuck on HS1, that's not a good place to uh, to get stuck. Teleported to Web Street. I think that's probably the best uh, best option. There's the 170. Uh, ben, you would wait uh, long for routes to come and think quality is more important than uh, quantity. All routes should be like Blackpool route. So if he's in high speed and you mean middle main line. Yeah. To be fair, they need to do a, a Skyhook games and um, do a lot of work on this route. Sky, you know, middle mainline was awful when it first released, but they definitely pulled it around. Uh, crazy, uh, you did annoy the train by doing pressing the big emergency stop button. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Richie, the timetable is a kick in the teeth for you. 85 playable services, including chanting services. Yeah, the number of services are really poor. Uh, there's no freight. Especially, which is really stupid given that they made a freight pack for Edinburgh Glasgow about a month or so ago which I find very hard that they haven't included and also they have a steam rail tour pack that they developed for West Coast uh, West Cornwall Local so again they two things that they didn't include they absolutely have uh, that they developed that could be used on this route is absolutely mad Uh, crazy, this, the 700 is one of the best trains to ride on TSW4 because you look down the entire train, the toilet is annoying. Yeah, that's very similar to um, the 710, which is, yeah, I'm really genuinely surprised what they did with the uh, the Goblin line. Um, it does show that actually focusing on shorter routes can give so much more in terms of quality. Uh, train boy, you want your money back? You can certainly get request a refund. I'm sure. Uh, crazy. Uh, I think it can look satisfying when making a hundred car train and then looking down the entire train. I definitely got to try that with the seven hundred. Uh, Richie, it's exactly what you said the other week that they've uh, took the time to make the gameplay packs and not such as for this route. Yeah, absolutely. I find that absolutely bonkers. 710 does as well, obviously, but not as nice as looking at the uh, space slower speeds. Yeah, of course. So, Dunfermline City next. I like this side of the uh, five circle a bit more, actually. It's nicer with uh, a few more stops. Uh, Nathan, you like how Glen Race Station, you can see the wind turbines in the background. Oh, okay. I will look out for the wind turbines. Uh, 
Here comes the announcements. We'll soon arrive at Dunfermline City. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Yeah, uh, crazy, yeah, Rivet took their time at own the engineer and express to try and get that 66 livery spot on and whatever else. Yeah, absolutely. And then not to use it is bizarre. Uh, Nathan, also did you know the line at Glen Race isn't connected, the line on platform 2 continues to Mark Inch, or platform 1 goes down, goes towards Dunfermline and Kirk Coley. There you go. I'm about 80 yards short of the stopping point now, but never mind. We're in, we're in the station. The announcements are very delayed, yeah they sure are. It would also be cool just to have some All random Okay. Uh it would be cool to um have some random announcements while you're driving along not like approaching a station. Uh, crazy honestly don't care about announcements that much in game um i don't mind I, I think it's just a like nice little touch for the immersion it's just those like little things that kind of build your sense of uh, realism uh spirit welcome into the stream how you doing probably because you've played uh, Train Simulator Classic since 2015 and TSW, yeah fair enough. And the only route you've had with announcements was the Frankfurt U-Bahn for TSC, you do believe, oh okay, yeah I guess uh, certainly announcements are a fairly new thing for um, I guess like simulation games at all. Fifty five coming up, we're fine. Uh Richie, you think you're gonna wait until Canon B services get added before considering this purchase? Yeah, I think uh if I'm honest, I probably wouldn't have picked this up um if I wasn't streaming it. Um until they'd kind of touched the timetable or implemented some of the fixes that they've they have so say promised. Oh, we need to get the brakes on here. Uh, ben, you were excited we for this route's quality and timetable just let you down and some more work before buying it. Fair enough. I uh, hope the team are doing the 104 are doing a good job because PFR, yeah, Peak Forest. I I'm intrigued what to see what they're going to do with Peak Forest. Uh, but uh, am I doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing very well. Thanks, Ben. Uh, Nathan, your train at Glenbrath are just arising. Nathan, very nice. We're arriving into Dunfermline, Queen Margaret. Please do not leave your luggage. Uh, train boy, what do you think the mystery loco is? Uh, it has to be the 91, surely, doesn't it? Oh, no, that's definitely the wrong camera. It's got to be the 91, surely. Because everyone's 
they've done no add-ons yet for any of the, the base kind of routes that have been released. So, yeah, or Freight Locos, Crazy said, yeah, I don't think you might be right, one of the two. It's so highly requested. Uh, crazy, honestly, I feel like the, the routes from TSW 2020 into uh, TSW 2 were mostly better than nowadays when it comes to Devotown Rivet. Yeah, you're probably not wrong. Uh... Maybe a 90, yeah, 90 is a good shout. Crazy Richie reckons it's a 91 as well. Train Boy agrees. Uh, the unnamed UK route is the chase line. Oh, how, how have you stumbled on that one, Richie? Oh, we've got a little weight here actually. some high fences they've got going on here oh do you think it's I was gonna say if you had you had the uh, inside scoop there I was impressed for your safety and comfort this station We'll just hang around here. It's nice in the sunlight. But I think the best route to bring the 350 to game and then it could add to West Coast Mainline for a summer release. Oh, with a Pendolino. I would love a Pendolino. Nathan's doing the shunt now. Very nice, very nice. Hill start, it should have gone for the hill start. Little button on the end there. Uh, do you think we'll get more info on Long Island Railroad 2.0 and Summering Barn next week on the roadmap or possibly even a release date for them? Yeah, I think we'll get I think we will get an update on um, Long Island Railroad uh, given that the ambassadors clearly have it downloaded as that uh, inadvertent leak of uh, the Long Beach branch and the M9. Um, yeah, I think we probably will get an update on that. And yeah, Semmering Barn, that can't be that far away. Be interesting to see what else is on the roadmap because the last roadmap was, I thought was pretty poor actually given it was so close to Dovetail Direct, nothing really had changed. Uh, Train Boy, what month do you think the Class 91 will be in? I think it's in the four to six month category, and that was last month, so still a little way away. Uh, Long Island Railroad could come April and then Summering Barn early mid-May. Yep, I think you're probably not that far wrong. I think we'll also see... Um, uh, Cargo Live Volume 2 uh, probably come in April as well, which actually I'm quite excited for because it adds uh, services not only to uh, Mid and Mainline, Great Western Express and uh, South Eastern High Speed as well and it looks like uh, there's quite a big update or a bit of an update coming for Midland Mainline, especially around uh, Montserrat uh, sidings that kind of, I guess, go hand in hand with Cargo Line Volume 2. So I'm I'm quite excited for that one, actually. And Sam, uh, San Bernardino, probably in June. Yep. Ah, oh, Richie, I love... I, I I enjoyed Cargo Line Volume 1, so I'm, I'm excited for Volume 2. Volume 100. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I think you're probably not wrong, crazy. Gameplay packs make you feel sick. Yeah, I, I get you. I get you. Uh, 
I don't mind the cargo line ones because it does it's not only just for one route it can it's used across you get extra services both on Great Western Express and South East and High Speed that's what I quite like and especially Great Western Express that's to be getting some love now so so far on from when it was released I quite like it. Uh, Paul, welcome in. Can you hear some outside sounds at the Tempestice? Sure can. Uh, crazy, only gameplay uh, that is worth it is the Cone uh, 423. Yeah, definitely. That's a good check. The Cone uh, timetable. Um, that's gone quiet on that front. Hopefully, that's not too far away. Uh, railhead treatment train 66. Yeah, agreed on that because that pretty much goes on most UK routes these days. And the 37 is on quite a few. I got the 37 coupled up to the 710, but sadly, it's just no brakes on. You don't. The brakes. Um, yeah, the brakes on the uh, 710 don't engage. You've just got brakes on the uh, the loco, which is not great. <laughs> uh, Richie, you reckon they scrapped it? Yeah, it did move into the the kind of category with no. We'll soon arrive at Cowden Beef. There you go. Uh, kind of moved into Cowden. Take your belongings oh. with you before you She's leave still the talking. Train. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's kind of moved into that category with no kind of expected release time, so who knows. Uh, Mr. Train Guy, hello, welcome in. Uh, train Boy, uh, I think Class 91 will be added in mid May. Yeah, maybe. Uh, even if it's only available for PC players, yeah, I'd like to see that uh, come at some point. Uh, Richie Cow, that <laughs> seems a cool place name. Yeah, you're not, you're not Please wrong there. There you go, Cow Den Beef. Where's the hill start? I thought it was the little button on the end, but I don't know what the uh, shortcut is on the keyboard. Um, that's annoying. Never mind. That's, uh... Uh, crazy, well, the person that's working on the new timetable already released a version of it on the train some community. Oh, okay, didn't know that. But only uh, through the 24 hours are finished. The route doesn't look too bad. No, I don't think it looks that bad. I've seen worse routes, but some some areas of the scenery are pretty bland. Great example. Also a lot of services for the 628. Ah, nice. I'll have to check that out on Train Sim Community. That's some slow acceleration, but we're going up a 1% gradient. Uh, Mr. Train Guy, what if they added the class 171? Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, Nathan, you've done the shunt already. Do you uh, form the uh, 843 back to Waverley? There you go. Got it all going on. Oh, we're definitely speeding here. Yeah, let's uh, just sort that out. <laughs> that should be 35, not 50.
the lighting looks nice. It's, we're getting into the golden hour. Uh, Clash of Clans, welcome back. Uh, Nathan, uh, once you get back to Waverly, you'll do a Perth or Dundee service up to Mark Inch. Very nice. You're definitely doing a shift on uh, the five circle. We'll go and get up to 60 in a second. How many runs we'll do? We'll do we'll finish this one and then I'm gonna do a run with the 385. Uh hopefully the Lynn Lithgo service. Uh Clash of Clans, if you know you can change the destination route, you certainly can. It's this little uh panel over here. And then if I can get it, we'll go off the map with the 385. If I can uh, get it to work, it should be should be doable. So Loch Gully next. We'll soon arrive at Loch Gully. No worries, Don't train boy. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. We are coming into Loch Gully. After that, we've got Cardenden and then Glen Ross. We're good for time as well, which is all good. Go. Doors. Uh, are you going to use the 385 three car or four car? So it's only the four car version that you can use on the five circle. We've got passengers. Oh, here we go. Classic passenger. Yeah, they need to sort out the passenger behaviour. That's for definite. Oh, we've got another one. Don't fancy uh, going under the underpass and actually using the stairs. Yet the passengers that are here don't want to get on. Great behaviour, great passenger behaviour there. <laughs> Madness. Uh, Rich, you saw something the other day that the destination option also shows station for the in stations for the uh, Inver Clyde line. The wizards are taking over TSW4, yeah, the wizards. <laughs> I think you can actually, Wolf. What in service special? Inverness, Dundee, Aberdeen, Stirling, uh, Presswick, uh, Air, uh, Paisley Canal, Wemus Bay, Gur Rock, or Gar Rock, Glasgow Central. It's quite, Linlithgow, Palmont. It's quite, uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of them in there. Manual destination, that's a rare site in TSO4. It sure is crazy. Yeah, you certainly don't get that anymore. Normally it's uh, just set by the the the, um, the service that you're running. Glasgow Central to Wymus Bay. Ah, okay, there you go. Interesting. Then the next. With a 380. Ooh. I'll be nice to see a 380.
who knows what will come next but certainly don't let Revit touch another UK route until they prove they can fix this one <laughs> Uh, Train Boy, Cardendon is such a funny name for a station. <laughs> yeah. Uh, crazy manual destination is great because I feel like the AI often sets the destination as the last stop on the route and maybe doesn't have it happen anymore. Yeah, it doesn't do the kind of off map uh, destinations. Uh, Mr. Train Guy, how come the training center lets you have all the power to third rail and 25kV? Uh, that's so you can run any train on the training center. I believe. Select so you select whatever power you need for the train that you're running. Uh, oh, it's pronounced Cardinden. Is that right? Cardin Den. There you go, let's send me. We've got no more passengers chancing their luck going across the uh, tracks this time. Uh, crazy. Uh, the closest interesting uh, station name to you is probably Book. Translates to Book in English. There you go. Get shut those doors in a second and then we'll be heading to our final stop. Uh, Nathan, is there a 10 o'clock service from Edinburgh to Dundee that goes to Mark Inch in game? Oh, I don't know. We can have a look when we finish uh, finish this run for you. Off we go. Let's get a, a departing shot. Train gets to Waverley at 9.45. We can have a look, see what services there are at, uh, at 10 o'clock. Uh, Mr. Train Guy, uh, but why not the other routes that you say, for example, southeastern high speed routes? When you spawn the 101 in there, it doesn't let you power the train. Uh, I guess because a 101. Uh, uh, it might be that the 101 uses different power, different. Um, instead of 25 kV overhead, I guess it could use something else, not sure. Uh, train boy, what does the horn sound like in the cab? Let's give it a go. There you go. Look good with the sun coming down. Uh, 
What country outside of European ones would you like to see in TSW? Uh, I think for me it has to be Japan, but we know that's obviously coming. Um, so that's what I'm really quite excited for. Uh, train boy, no worries. See you in about 10 minutes. Uh, what do you think, Crazy? Uh, what country would you like to see? Um, Stephen, welcome in. Not buying the straightaway because don't trust River after disaster of Edinburgh to Glasgow route. Looks bland and no freight. Yep, agreed with you. I. Yep, I definitely agree with you. It's uh, the timetable and the layering certainly lets it down. Uh, crazy Morocco or Australia or New Zealand as well. Yeah, they would be pr pretty different. Yeah, that, I like the sound of that. Australian sounds quite interesting. But yeah, silly, I want to see it. the Japan one is the one that's uh, really interesting me. Oh, there you go, uh, Nathan. There's the, the windmill. Uh, not windmill. Uh, wind turbine you were talking about. Morocco would be a high speed route, most likely. Yeah, true. So, one and a half out now. Uh, Australia takes Sydney or Melbourne, yeah. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, we've got all the wind turbines around here. Nathan, you're about to park them roofs. Nice. Uh, Stephen, one thing you would love to see is a class 68 and a Scott Rail 43. Yeah, that's a great shout. I'd love to see the 68 as well. And a HST. Definitely agree with you on that. They need wind turbines for power, as the pylons earlier weren't connected. Uh, weren't connected. <laughs> yeah. We'll soon arrive at Glenrothes with Thornton. Glen Roth with eight forms and resin and chocolates. Before you leave the train. Uh, but if they make another metro style route, it should be Singapore or Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. I could get behind something like that. So here we are, coming in to our final stop. Where's our stopping point? Uh, if you see anything. I think we are all the way up here, aren't we? There we go, open those doors. Notwithstanding Thornton. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I enjoy being passed through TSW? I've done it a couple of times. It's quite it's quite chilled if you've got it on in the background. Oh, we can lock our doors. Adjacent Thornton, yeah. Uh, does the Azuma run on that line in real life? Yes, but it's the Class 800 mm. instead of the 801 that we have in game, sadly.
Yeah, for sure. Crazy. Uh, right, let's look for Nathan. Is there a 10 o'clock service from Edinburgh? Uh, there is oh, a 10.14 service that goes to Glen Ross. Uh, Edinburgh to Waverley to Perth is 21.43. So I think you might just miss that. Unless you dump it at Haymarket and pick it up there, perhaps. Who knows? Right. Uh, 385. Let's do... Why are some of these 18 minutes long? Interesting. Strange. Right, we'll try. <laughs> we'll try this service. Uh, we'll keep it in light clouds. 18 minutes one do sound uh, interesting. Yeah, agreed, Richie. I'm going to see what this actually does. Um, right, let's look at the timetable. It is just literally. Edinburgh to Haymarket. Okay, fine. Uh, let's stay. Okay, we're going just marker that. Oh no, dim. That's what I want. There we go. Mm, perhaps we want four. Oh, let's turn the TMS on. Uh, train boy, you're back. Where's the Dunblane services? Yet yeah, they're not included, Richie. Uh, Stephen, I think River Games were asleep when they made this route. Yep, yeah, agreed. No freight is a missed opportunity. Rail tools as well. River uh, were lazy to make the Dunblane services. Too lazy to make Dunblane services. Yep, yeah, that fine was. Uh, <laughs> My guy's disappointed. <laughs> Uh, yes, I am. Given that Lynn Lithgow is in the fucking gate. It's there. It's, oh, it frustrates me. Be interesting to see what those 18 minute services are. We haven't even got PIS. Oh, come on. There's no PIS. What is going on with that? Rubbish. Probably detailed the tram section of Edinburgh Park to Gateway better than the rest of the route. <laughs> You're not wrong, crazy. Glad you've never bought a rivet product, yeah. That's why I've got no faith that um, they'll ever fix Five Circle, if I'm honest. Interesting, that's the only one I've never bought crazy as Isla White. I've not even bothered turning the safety systems on. What's the point? Get one station in four minutes. Oh my good god, what is going on with 
these signs. That sound is horrible. I need, I'm having to turn this right down. <laughs> Jesus. Hopefully, uh, what a, oh, I'm going to spot this, aren't I? After all that. Yeah, that 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 probably sums up this route, I think. <laughs> Alpha, yeah. Uh, right, I'm gonna want to try that again because I want to get off the route. Unless I've got a plan. It's pre-beta tested. Yeah. <laughs> It does feel like it. Uh, right, let's go on for... Ah, see, it doesn't let me start off. Haymarket, that bit fine. We'll start a haymarket. It won't let me spawn at Lithgow, so... Uh, which one do I want to be on? I want to be on this platform. Oh, we're not taking a 385, sorry. Come on, sit down. Let's see if it'll let me... Yeah, okay, so it lets me go there. Andrew Carr, 170. Sadly, Richie, uh, information designer, you can't do anything with the 170. You can only, you can't even add multiple three car units together. It's really disappointing. It knows we're going to Linlithgow platform two. Yeah, that's a good change. Uh, crazy. We'll see if we can get there. Actually, probably what I should have done. Oh, that's probably something else in front. Or is that yellow for us? Yeah, no. Kind of want to... Right. Let's keep going to Linlithgow for a start. Oh, yeah, good shape. Can you go from Linlithgow via uh, the other track tools? I believe so, but I want to show you that this actually um, the track for Edinburgh to Glasgow is fully in. It is fully replicated. Best thing about this Reuters Bridge sure is, uh, Stephen. Yeah, it's absolutely copied, Richie. Uh, so secretly, the route is actually 52 miles plus 14 miles. But it actually goes even f further. It goes, the whole Edinburgh to Glasgow route is, is in there. The entire section to Glasgow, yeah. I've, I saw someone on the forum had got to Glasgow Queen Street. 
which is why I want to try and see how far we would go. Generous sort, but I don't think it's detailed though. I don't think the scenery's there, but the uh, thanks, Nathan. Uh, but the um, let's turn tail lights off, <laughs> but the uh, uh, tracks completely laid, which is why I need to try and get out of bounds. <laughs> Uh, Stephen, what's the blank screen in the middle? Uh, if you're talking about this one, I believe it's CCTV. Yeah, it does crazy. It does have the tracks all the way to St. Moritz. Or it's... There's Edinburgh Park. Is Edinburgh Park? Yeah, Edinburgh Park. See, this is where we need to spawn a train on next. The tram line. Richie, yeah, they said that, but they got rid of the planes that... Yeah, I know. <laughs> you hear the whine. Oh, wait. Uh, what is that whine? Can anyone else hear it as well? Glasgow Queen Street. There we go, that's where we're heading. <laughs> that does not sound healthy at all. So the sounds are botched. Uh, yeah, I think so, crazy. Or it might have been the player feedback, uh, like the feedback thread, one of the two. I'm going to turn that wine down so you don't have to listen to it. Uh, am I f refunding this route? No, I don't think I will. I think I'll keep it and see uh, if they do actually um, bring the promised fixes. I've driven 72 miles. Thank you very much. So where are we? Yeah, it's this branch here that connects up five circle. That's pretty neat, actually. Open the window. Yeah, that gets rid of the wine. So it could be the secret, secretly longest route. Yeah, possibly. There's a 385. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get to uh, Linlithgow as quickly as I can, train boy. Uh, Nathan, your horn got stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> it's never good. You're going to give this route a heavy miss? Yeah, I don't blame you, Richie. I believe, I think, I was just taking one for the team and showing 
what it's really like. Um, I'm just hoping that the fixes will come. I doubt they will. I'm not expecting them to. Ah, crazy found it. Nice. And I made you overshoot uh, Carrot and Beater. <laughs> Disaster. Oh, here we go. It's a bit of funky scenery going on. Yeah, I know, that's what makes it even more frustrating that uh, Richie, the 158, is a paid add-on. What's next? River accidentally copied the entire Cathcart circle as well, <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Scott Roll 158 should also come with the Northern livery. Yeah, that would be a good. Uh... They've definitely got scenery problems right there, haven't they? There's some kind of asset that. Oh, I've set the RA. I definitely did not want to do that. They've copied the LiDAR data in the entire UK, yeah. How far the East Coast mainline goes. Oh, if we can get out of bounds with that, that's a good shout, crazy. I accidentally copied the sensor. <laughs> yeah, perhaps next time we'll try and get out of bounds with the uh, the 801. Ooh, that's laggy. <laughs> okay, here we are coming up to Lynn Lithgow. Get a bit breaking, but they've had a few in as they wanted to do this route. Yeah, I can imagine. See the Eurasia Linny, like five miles south of Edinburgh. Uh, Clash of Clans been streaming over two and a half hours. I certainly have, yeah. It's been a lot of fun this one. Quite easy to do a two, three hour stream on the TSW, it certainly is. Dovetail's game would have looked, uh, Dovetail's version would have looked 50 times better than this. Yeah, I know. It is a real shame. Here we are at Lithgow. Uh, Mr. Train Guy, should they add the 377 7 Electro Star? We've got a 377 already, I guess it's just a different subclass.
Oh, if someone needs to do a collectible, there's one hidden. <laughs> and a route map as well. Oh my god, they're definitely intending people to uh, to come to Linlithgow, aren't they then? With the 158 perhaps, or something else. Because there's a route map if anyone's looking for it. So there's collectibles here. Can we maybe take some fast train on here? Yeah, claim that route map now. <laughs> yeah. Let's just check. Oh, I can't get that. Clearly that's not a planter. Yeah, it actually is as well. Wow. For something that's not on the route, who's ever going to find it? Madness. Right, let's get rid of that. And... Ooh. Um... Okay, so that's kind of real. Yeah, I know, it's absolutely bonkers. I want to spawn this after the last signal here. So it ain't this bad. There's bloody collectibles, there is. I can't believe that there's collectibles. Right, there we go. Yes, the 801 is going to Queen Street, hopefully. Does see a red. Oh, there is one after it. Okay, let's see if we can do this set path. Yep. I will take this. Uh, with God mode, it's much easier to find out where the tracks end. Yeah, of course. Just hoping the signal stop after this next one. Oh, it's another one. I don't know if it's going to spad me though. Next one isn't shown on the map. Hmm. It will spad me, I think. Although the scenery is definitely coming to an end. That is the scenery definitely coming to an end. <laughs> wow, it literally falls off cliff. Spawn it one after, yeah, I think you might be right, Richie. Let's get as close as we can.
Still does have power. <laughs> yeah, it's always better than the main area to freak. I'll have another 801, please. <laughs> I'm just hoping there's no signals after. Oh, there's another one ahead. I mean, we're running without a pantograph now, so this is even more impressive. Actually, what I probably need to do is... I can't even get rid of that one now. Oh, no. Let's get rid of that train. Using the wrong side might be better. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, of course it's going to start raining now, isn't it? I don't even have the enemy called 385s yet. Fingers crossed we uh, block their path. Oh, there's another red ahead. For God's sake, it's reds all over the place. There are literally reds all over the place here. Where can I get to? That has no more signals. Freak it, yeah, there's reds all the way, sadly. Get into Glasgow is going to take a while in free cam. Yeah, I think I probably do have to use a three eight five. Ah, oh, right. Can I do... Can I do, can I do, can I do... Jory affects performance. Uh, I don't know. You would like, you would imagine so. Uh, 
bear with the madness. I'm hoping this might work. If you get going, what time are you due to depart? Got to board it. Apparently, they don't despawn. They go all the way to. Uh, um, to Glasgow Queen Street. in in oh we're off now yeah secret collectible and probably not wrong there uh, crazy right now he's going can I Ah, I don't have permission. I don't have permission. Damn it. I'm going to have to do this with God mode and get us there somehow. But I think this is probably the perfect way to wrap up this stream. Thanks everyone for tuning in to the first look at, uh, at Five Circle. Um, kind of what's my final thoughts? It's pretty much as I kind of predicted. Um, There's some, definitely some areas that need improvement. Timetable needs more improvement as well. Um, and hopefully we'll do another stream where I've got God Mode installed um, and we'll see if we can get to Glasgow Queen Street. Um, when's the next uh, stream? It'll be Thursday, crazy. Uh, I plan on doing one Thursday. So, uh, yeah, if I can get God Mode installed, let's see what chaos we can cause. Um, thanks, everyone, for dropping in. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button. It's appreciated. And I will hopefully see you in the next stream. Bye-bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.